I say yo. Welcome to the BBW show, you feel me? We talk battle rap, basketball, and wrestling. And the topic today is wrestling. More importantly, my thoughts on Cody Rhodes versus Malachi Black. <sighs> listen, 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 listen. First things first, all right? Let's say this. Alistair Black's first debut on the main roster, the first time we got eyes on him on the main roster, he was doing this tag team thing with Ricochet. You feel me? Now, they was just a makeshift tag team, but they was getting the shit pushed out of them. They challenged them for the Raw tag team titles, the NXT tag team titles, and the SmackDown tag team titles all in the same week. That They was pushing the fuck out of Ricochet and Aleister Black. You feel me? So they break them up. Aleister Black goes in the room for a few months. He was feeling different than everybody else, but he wasn't wrestling. Which is another thing I don't like. I don't like how niggas say, if you lose every week, you're buried. If you in a got an own segment, but you're not wrestling, and you're in a room begging niggas to fight you every week, you're still buried. You feel me? I don't like that. I don't like that. So he comes out the room, start fighting and all of that. Honestly, and I heard nobody say this, the peak to me for Aleister Black, where I think he reached his peak in WWE, on the main roster was that build up to WrestleMania last year when it was AJ, when they was building to AJ and the Undertaker. That I feel like was the peak. I'm not gonna hold you. I remember the pay per view. It was either Fast Lane or some other shit. It was a pay per view match with Aleister Black versus AJ Styles. You feel me? The Good Brothers came out. This is when they were still signed too. They came out, got involved. Then the Undertaker return gave AJ Styles a choke slam. You feel me? They was building to that. This is after he cost him to win the um the trophy or whatever. Or around that time. I feel like that's the time they could have made Aleister Black a super superstar. You feel me? Now Undertaker didn't wrestle leading up into WrestleMania, but if he did, and they would have gave us even a two on three handicap match. Of Aleister Black and The Undertaker versus The Good Brothers and AJ. Just the visual of, of Aleister Black and The Undertaker together. With Undertaker doing his sit-up and Aleister Black doing his cartwheel rope. Like, just that image would have made him a star. That would have carried him for at least the next six, eight months. Just that visual. Just him getting that pop of, oh, you just got The Undertaker's blessing. Just that, just that. Even if he wasn't even focused, even if he wasn't in a focal WrestleMania match that far that year, just that visual, you feel me, of aligning him with the Undertaker some way would have made him a star. They didn't do that. After that, it was downhill from there. It was downhill from there. The Seth Rollins feud where he got involved, it, that hurted him. The heel turn, I kind of didn't like it. I ain't gonna hold you, I didn't like it. Now, the vignettes to bring him back, I loved. I loved the vignettes to bring him back. He was going to fight Big E. I like that, too. I definitely like that. That was going to be a great feud. Dark versus good. Like, good versus bad. Literally. Positivity versus darkness and negativity. They released him out of the blue. I I hated that to be for that. I ain't going to that shit That shit hurted me. So, now, he goes AW, debuts with Cody. Feel me? Great build up to this match. I can't do that either. It was a great build up to this match. You feel me? Great build up. So we get here. We get this match. This was a squash match. Malachi Black squashed the fuck out of Cody Rhodes. Squashed him. Squashed him. I have a lot of thoughts about this. Two. Well, I said two. One. We seen this with Brody Lee. It's the same thing Brody Lee did. You feel me? So Cody's just rehashing angles. Two is leading to a rematch, which I two I don't like how when Cody goes to do his like why you just don't leave, bro? You don't have to do these wild squashes and then leave. No, you can have a competitive match. Thirty minutes, you lose fair and square, and you go away. You don't have to do these fake injury angles type shits. You feel me? 
That's what he did with Brody Lee. It was like an injury angle. This time, he loses to Alistair Black. Alistair Black puts his foot on his chest and pins him. Walks out. What does Cody Rhodes do? Five minutes later, your man's is up cutting a promo. Your man is up five minutes later cutting a promo. Teasing a retirement. The first time we've seen Cody Rhodes lose this fucking decade. And he's teasing a retirement. Like, yo, relax. Relax, relax. Like, and this is another thing why I just think he's so self-centered. Because niggas was booing Cody Rhodes for this feud. If you look at it, for the last couple of times, Asta Black has been getting cheered. Cody, Cody Rhodes has been getting booed. That's not how it was supposed to be. So he decided to, you know what? One way for me to get cheered, I'm a tease retiring. And, and he does one of the things I hate about him. Where he starts to cry, but doesn't cry. Oh, this is all I ever wanted. Like, I don't need a partner. I need my brother. Cody Rose has at least six promos where his voice starts to crack, but no tears come down. I hate it. I fucking hate it. I hate it with a passion, bro. Every time he does it, I hate it. I hate it. <clears throat> so he start doing this. You feel me? He start cutting that promo, teasing retirement. Now, he does the... Dusty Rhodes retirement where the niggas start taking his shoes off and leaving them in the ring like Undertaker did at WrestleMania five years ago. Like self-centered nigga. You feel me? Start saying he literally says it's about time we give other people a chance. Like he knows what the perception of him is and he doesn't care, bro. Like he's having a damn near reign of Cody. But he's not the he's not a world champion. That's what pisses me off about it. If he's the world champion doing this, I'll be okay with it. <clears throat> but you're not the world champion. You're not the mid card champion. You're just some guy in the mid card doing stuff that makes it feel like the main event. Like that's enough. Like think of this: Kenny Omega and the Elite is the main event faction, but they feel like uh, mid carders. Cody's a mid-carder, but all his programs feel like main events. Like, something is not adding up here. Something is not adding up here. I'm getting too far off. So, he does his promo. After Black comes back, attacks him. Cody never retires. Is do I, one, <laughs> this, I could really go on this forever. So, one, we're definitely getting a rematch. Two, Cody's going to come back as a different character. He's going to dye his hair. He's going to change his music. Something's going to be different about Cody. I don't like that. Three, when he comes back, there is a 50-50% a chance Aster Black loses. Four, I just thought about this as I'm talking. There's a 50-50% chance they do a double turn. Gangsta, that's a 50% chance too that they do a double turn at All Out. Because we getting this at All Out. That's a possibility, too, that we do a double turn. So all of those things is possible. Look out for that. Look out for that. Look out for that. But I think it was a great debut for Aleister Black. I do. I think it was a great debut. Do I think he came off as a bigger star than he ever has in WWE? Yes. 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 He has. Let's see how long it could go, though. Is he going to be a big star like this in six months? Only time will tell. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll be back with more.